Explore Wild Animal World in Kamajojo. And welcome to view our outdoors equipment on our website. Many different fathers could be responsible for the offspring of a single litter if the mother mated with more than one male during her brief estrus period. Assuming they have a healthy supply of food, females will mate every other year. In general, males only mate once a year. Mothers are often compelled to separate their families in the spring, when roaming males start courting reproductive-aged females to protect their cubs from being killed. Mother bears are the primary caregivers for their young, showing them love and nurturing them until they are old enough to fend for themselves. Mothers, especially grizzlies, may keep their yearlings for a second or third year denning together again before splitting up in the third or fourth year, depending on food availability. When their children try to return to them, their mothers will stubbornly refuse them. When a mother abandons her children, the children often den together for a while, eating and sleeping close together out of necessity. Young adult females typically set up territories that are adjacent to or within their mother's territory. However, young adult males are discouraged from staying and must travel great distances to find suitable territory. When a female's relationship ends, she will travel around her territory at three times the normal speed to leave a scent trail. It's possible for females to travel outside of their territory as well. This allows them to broadcast their status, attract potential mates, re-establish their territorial rights, and gauge the availability of territory in their immediate vicinity. There is a male scent trail following her. A female may be receptive to a male mount at any time during her estrus cycle, which lasts anywhere from three to five days, but she will only do so during the three to five days in the middle of her cycle. It's common for a male and female to mate multiple times over the course of a few days after they've mated. While the act itself may only last a few seconds each time, the couples typically remain locked together, with the occasional break for a nuzzle, bite on the neck slash back, or casual stroll, until the next bout. The average length of a copulation is 20 to 30 minutes, but it can last as long as an hour. Mating season is characterized by a rise in activity levels for both sexes. It is during this time that females can maintain their weight by continuing to forage. It is estimated that males lose 20% of their fall weight during the 7 to 8 weeks of mating season because they forage so little. This is in addition to the normal 20% weight loss that occurs during the winter. This means that a mature male who weighs 500 pounds in the fall would emerge from his den at 400 pounds, drop to 300 pounds by the end of mating season, and then gain those 200 pounds back in the space of three months, reaching 500 pounds by fall. Until denning season begins, the fertilized eggs, known as blastocysts, cannot implant. The embryos will not attach to the uterine wall and develop into baby bears if the female does not gain enough weight and body fat over the summer and fall. In the beginning of the year, around the months of January and February, cubs are born in the den. The number of young born in a single litter can vary from 1 to 6, depending on the type of animal and the abundance of food in its environment. Cubs are born blind and only weigh a tenth as much as a human infant. As soon as they are born, they make their way to their mother's teats to continue receiving milk and developing until the following spring. More than one male will typically chase after a female who is an estrus. During the courtship ritual, if another male enters, the two males may challenge each other for dominance or even fight if they seem evenly matched. Bears naturally, but rarely, kill their young. When boars come across sows with cubs, they sometimes resort to killing the cubs to force the sow into estrus and eventually breeding. Sows, and particularly grizzly sows, are fiercely protective of their cubs and will fight back if threatened. The male's role in the life of the family ends with copulation, and he takes no part in the care of the children. Well, that's all. Thank you. If you enjoy what you see, subscribe us.